What's up guys? Today we are going on a mission which should be quite interesting and I've always asked myself this question. I was just hoping I would never have to answer it myself. The question is, what happens when your electric car runs out of battery? Well, today we find out because I am lucky enough to own a Renault Twizy, like that one right there. However, the other night it ran out of battery. My own fault. I didn't leave enough of a margin with the battery. And over here in Monaco there's like um, curfew and it was close to the curfew time. So I ended up just pushing it into a car park and leaving it there. And today we're gonna go back. We have an extension cable and we're gonna try and see what you do when your car runs on a battery. I mean, I have no idea how we're gonna get out of this little mess, but we're gonna try and figure it out. Now, the first mission is I was like super rushed and obviously a bit flustered because the, the battery had run out. We need to find the car in the taxi first because I can't remember exactly in the taxi in the car park I can't remember exactly where I parked it I can't remember which floor I put it on so that's gonna be the first mission and then we need to find out a plug and then sit there while it charges for a little while or we push it to a charging station I don't know we'll figure this out oh I've got care one here say hi hi there you go doesn't speak much English so that's gonna help us a whole load today but yeah let's see and we're in the DBX I don't know if I mentioned that at the beginning of the video that's the mouth of the DBX which is lovely not electric so we've got plenty of plenty of fuel to keep going but yeah it is a question that I've always kind of asked myself because you know electric cars are fantastic they are the future I really you know support I, mean, I have one right so love it the question is yeah you may get in a little pickle every once in a while, especially with the slightly older gen electric cars and the cheaper ones like my Twizy, where the range is really not that that bit that much. So yeah, it's quite actually easier than you think to end up in this situation. Let's see how easy it is to get out of it now. This is just our luck. Came up to the car park. They've decided today that they're starting the roadworks and have changed the entrance of the car park. So what the hell is the new entrance to this car? Literally just our luck. And hopefully it's not going to be like a temporary, super, super skinny entrance. Is it? Is it? Yes, it is. Oh, God. Fucking a flower too. Yeah, right, let's get these cameras out. These are actually so helpful. Fantastic. Okay. Now, let's look for a black twizzy. Oh. 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 So close. On a une Porsche, t'as vu là BM. On oh, Twizy. Ah, guys, we instantly found. Okay, we're at the car now. Now what we need to do is we need to find a plug and hope that that plug is working. Come on, Twizy, don't let us down. Okay. First of all, all right? C'est celle-là. Guys, how lucky is this? There is the Twizy there and a plug right here. How, yes, amazing. Okay. Oh no. Yes, oh. yes, yes. <laughs> One percent. Okay, it's, it's charging. This was surprisingly simple. So this now becomes a bit of a non-event video, doesn't it? <laughs> but um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna leave it charging. Let's speak to someone in the car park to check we're actually allowed to do this. Leave this, let's go give the Aston back, then walk back and get this, and then we're good, because you don't have a driving license, which is a bit of a bummer right now, so we can't take two cars. Right, let's find someone in the car park. A few moments later. Right, so we can't leave it here, because this is going to make all the electricity in the car park go, which is not ideal. So, we are going to drive it. Turns out, there are electric parking spots in this car park, just further in the car park. So with two minutes of charging, let's see if we can make it to the other electric parking spaces. Oh, oh no, 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 okay. Allez, go, go, go. Come on, go, go. On trace. Oh, yes. It's alive. Great success. Voila. Fantastic. Let's go drop the Aston off. Aston dropped off an Aston Monaco, which is right next to Ferrari Monaco as well. They're actually all part of like the same group. But I thought, because there's a bunch of dealerships here, I might as well just show you some of the cars. Ooh, 812 GTS. This is actually a convertible one. Very, very nice. You can, it's so hard to tell between the coupes and the convertibles. But there's, yeah, a few little lines that you can recognize. Very nice, and you're starting to see more and more of these. Attractive car from, um, from Ferrari. V12 front-engined 
convertible roof. Gorgeous. Um, so, yes, first time I've ever been able to get up close and personal with the new Rolls Royce Ghost. Look at this. Very cool looking. It's it's crazy how they've kind of like brought out more of the design language that we saw in the new Phantom, the Phantom 8, which conveniently is right there as well because this is a Rolls Royce dealership. Um, but it is absolutely gorgeous. Very nice. I really like it. The way the light wraps around here just looks much more modern. I mean, that is like a, a you know, Wraith, Dawn, Ghost, all these kind of cars. The older look, already facelifted, but the one that's being replaced by this, it's not hugely different, but under the skin, they've changed quite a lot. And also with the interior and stuff. So it's just cool to be able to come across one of these. Very, very nice. New rim design as well. Slightly, everything is just slightly modernized. But in classic Rolls-Royce fashion, they stay true to themselves. The really nice spec inside, black and white. Awesome with the wood, cool. Then we got a Phantom 8, green Phantom 8, and then a Cullinan, which fun fact was, ooh, that's an S65 AMG. Those are very rare and discontinued now. Very cool. That little line right there uh, is done by hand, painted by hand. So we got a Cullinan, Phantom 8, and then a bunch of Dawn's Wraiths, all that stuff. Abart. Continue? Yes. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> McLaren's right here. Well, will you look at this? McLaren Senna. One of 500 in the world. Absolute animal. It's got basically a dinner table as a front splitter. Aerodynamic details all over the place. Very controversial when it came out on the look. I think they didn't choose the best launch spec, to be honest, but sh you know, it's, you shouldn't really say that. But hey, -oh, very cool looking car. Massive wing as well. Absolutely enormous ring. Quite a cool spec, quite an understated spec, but it looks really nice. This is for sale for, yeah, it will round it up to 1.3 million euros. Round up <laughs> by 10 grand, I mean, that's a big round up. God, those are expensive, aren't they? This is pretty cool. This is a McLaren 720S um, Le Mans. So how much is this? 340,000 euros. But effectively it's to celebrate, yeah, the 25th anniversary of their win, at, of the McLaren F1 win at Le Mans in 1995. So you can see that 25th anniversary on the seats as well. But then it's also got the McLaren F1 inspired um, wheels, rims. Look, you can see the F1 on there. But yeah, so very cool looking. It's also got, look, the little extra air outlets, inlets here, like on the 765 LT. Anyway, we're now gonna go get the Twizy, right? And yeah, I'll give you this camera. We're gonna get the Twizy, which is gonna be a little bit charged by now and we're just gonna head home. So I thought this would be a longer process. Turns out, if you run out of battery in your electric car, if you happen to be in Monaco or somewhere with a lot of plugs, it's really not very complicated. All you have to do is plug it in and off you go. So I thought this would be a more entertaining video with us pushing the car and stuff, but no need for it. And there you go, it's just honest what happened with me running out of battery on the Twizy. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys again very soon. Cheers guys. Bye. -bye.